We want to send out a clear message to the gangsters and the drug dealers. In this holy month of Ramadan, we are prepared to sacrifice our lives, our homes, our families. It's 10 o'clock on a chilly Cape Town night. Concerned residents gather here at the offices of Tagad in Athlone. As the convoy of cars gets ready to patrol the streets, the local cops keep a watchful eye. Who are we? We are the people of the tanks. Tagad has had a rocky, sometimes violent history from its small beginnings in 1996. It's been viewed both as a benefit and a blight in this community. Controversial vigilante tactics have dogged its past, with leaders being jailed for public violence. Tagard was implicated in incidents of urban terrorism, nine bomb explosions during the year 2000 alone. There was also the very public killing of notorious Cape Flats hard living's gang boss Rashad Stahi. His twin brother and fellow gang leader Rashid Stahi swore vengeance against Pagad at his funeral. And now Rashid is on the verge of being released from prison. What this means for his gang, the hard livings, is unclear. And what it means for their rivals, the Americans, is even murkier. With the increasing rise of gang violence in Cape Town over the past few weeks, Pagad has once again hit the street targeting drug dealers and making their presence felt. Viva! 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 The convoy of cars, police vans and even a Casper make their way through the streets of Athlone and Rylands. Pagad are targeting drug dens and hotspots. The fast for Ramadan has been broken in this predominantly Muslim neighborhood. People flock onto the streets to see what is happening. At suspected drug houses, the procession slows down. The hooting of car horns intensifies. Loud firecrackers are released. It's a warning, says Pagad. These drug dens are being marked. That was just in front of the drug dealers to say, listen, we are here. National Pagad coordinator Abdus Salam Ibrahim, himself once jailed for seven years on a public violence conviction, now seems to be adopting a more inclusive approach. It doesn't matter if you're white or black, colored, so-called. If you are rich or poor, if you're Muslim or Christian or Jew, they are destroying all the children, all the homes in the country. He hopes their campaign and motorcade grows by the week and the pressure on government, police and drug dealers has the desired impact. But if the previous weeks are anything to go by, it looks like residents of the Cape Flats may have to brace themselves for more turf wars. Barbara Friedman, Cape Town. News that moves. ENCA.com.